If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 70 of the Career Mode Road to Glory here with Cambridge United on FIFA 15. Today we start with another game in the Championship and we're at home against Watford. Not the easiest of opposition, obviously they're one of the better sides in the division in real life. As uh, it stands right now in the third season, I'm not too sure how strong this squad is overall compared with the rest of the league. Obviously, we don't have the strongest of squads when it comes to a depth or you know individual talent, but as a team, we play very well and that's where why we find ourselves where we are in the league up towards the, uh, the top three or four places but as you can see they've still got Troy Deeney up top and he just scores goals no matter what happens in any game so uh, they've got a strong side playing a 4-3-3 as well very adventurous formation away from home Lewis McGugan in the midfield obviously the uh, pace of Paredes at right back will be a threat for the entirety of the game because he's just <laughs> he's absolutely rapid there's no two ways about it but uh, we're on top in the opening few minutes as you can see trying to create the opening chance O'Halloran stands it up Quezzi Appi is underneath can't quite get the direction on the head of them unfortunately and it just kind of drifts past that near post and uh, it's a comfortable decision for the goalkeeper not to even bother trying to get there as you saw there though briefly there's a slight injury to Michael Woods in the uh, in the first half and he's going to have to battle through that as we head towards half time uh, I am going to uh, to take him off I think at half time I think I did anyway but we catch him on the counter attack and here's Fabian Caseda the youngster that has been setting the league alight so far and he continues to do so a really accomplished composed finish slotting it underneath the goalkeeper on the on the uh, on the fast counter attack and uh, we make it 1-0 as we head into the second half I clearly haven't taken Michael Woods off just yet and Fabrini's going to try and work an opportunity here just kind of twisting and turning before passing the ball off to Anya he then breaks into the box again quickness of feet is the one uh, means I can't get anywhere near him finds a teammate in the box and that makes it 1-1 in the 52nd minute so uh, they're back in the game at the start of the second half and I was a little bit nervous as to what was going to happen for the rest of the half as they break into the box again with Anya and this time it's an even better finish a really tidy shot if you uh, watch the replay you see it was actually headed outside the the, uh, the post when he first struck it and it just bent in at the last minute it was a really really good strike outside the post and just squeezes in between keeper and uh, woodwork top finish we find ourselves 2-1 down and obviously after the way we started the game I didn't want to end up losing it especially considering in the last episode we really stumbled with our form losing both games so we need to get results here now otherwise we will uh, lose our momentum at the top of the table but Jenkins Chikoui has played in behind here our young scout future star player and uh, that is a very good finish from him he's not growing as much as we perhaps hoped he might he's still only 75 rated he's continuing to play every single game in his preferred position but he's just not growing that much I'm not really too sure why but he is 75 rated and the best rated or highest rated player at the club and uh, definitely the highest valued player at the club as well so he's continued to he's going to continue to play and it was a very good finish he's trying to shrug off a man here eventually I got frustrated just had the shot it drops so to Fabian Caseda and in the last minute we find ourselves winning the game 3-2 at home against Watford and it's that man Caseda again that gets the goals Quezzi Appiah started off the season absolutely on fire his goals have dried up but Caseda has really 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 improved throughout the season I wasn't too sure whether he'd be playing too many games for me when we first brought him in as a free agent because I had James Wilson coming in on loan but he's just been so good so incredibly good two goals again for him here give us the win with that last gasp winner so uh, we travel away from home to Ipswich not too far away from uh, from Cambridge just a you know a 45 minutes uh, trip down the A14 to uh, Tipswich Town and they currently sit bottom of the league as well. Four wins, 10 draws and nine defeats. They've not actually lost that many games considering how far we are through the season right now. But again, a 4-3-3 formation. This time perhaps even more adventurous than Watford's one because they've got kind of a... a, a two CDMs and a CM rather than just three straight CMs or CDMs so I wasn't too sure how it was going to go and it still annoys me that you saw as the players shake hands there that the lights the grounds floodlights go through the players faces still such bad coding for me I really wish they'd fix that but regardless uh, Caseda is starting up top again obviously I gave James Wilson a start though because I worked to you know he's barely played for me and obviously he's a really good player and I want to see if uh, we can actually get something out of him as we head towards the January transfer window because obviously we're going to be hopefully losing 
Tom Elliott in the January window because I want to move him on to free up the funds to improve the squad elsewhere. But uh, I need James Wilson to start performing for me if possible. But Razor's the man to have the first chance here. And down off the bar. Really good effort. Nice turn his side. He's left footed, but I'm playing him in centre mid. He can play left mid and centre mid. He's not absolutely rapid and he does have pretty good uh, stats when it comes to uh, playing in the centre of midfield. So I'm playing him in that position and so far he's working very well, hitting the bar there. Jenkins Chica, we really should have done better this time around. Obviously a similar position to where he scored his goal in the last game, this time going for the near post rather than the far and it not working. And then uh, he hits the bar again, Razor, with a good free kick. So unlucky, that's twice he's hit the bar now in the opening first few minutes. Really good free kick. Perhaps could have been further towards the corner and that might have actually opened up the angle enough for it to dip under the bar. But regardless, uh, really unfortunate not to have come away with a goal from those two efforts. Casada though, doing the business again, going on the run, showing good strength. A gorgeous ball over the top to James Wilson. Brings it down, just finish it, son. But no, the goalkeeper makes a very good save and it's going to go out for a corner. Five minutes to go though until half-time. is going to be the man, I believe, to... Uh, no, it's going to be Jenkins Chikawi to uh, whip the corner in. Stands it up towards the middle and Josh Colson, the Cambridge United boy through and through is the man to give us the 1-0 lead in the 42nd minute. He's lost his place in the starting lineup to Salis Solomon alongside Paul Downing as uh, both those defenders continue to be very, very solid for us. But again, I brought in James Wilson for this game and I brought in Josh Colson and he proved to be the difference there in the first half to get us the 1-0 lead. As you see though, we're going on the attack straight from kickoff for the start of the second half. Uh, Rays is going to find himself uh, not really too many places to go there. So I'll find Kasey about 25 yards out out and that is an extremely impressive finish. It wasn't this it wasn't necessarily just the power of the shot that impressed me, but the way that he drilled it so hard that it just continually rose as it left his foot into that top corner. Honestly, one of the best goals he scored this season. It just arrowed you know, sometimes you see players hit that and it just goes up and then stays level. This one just literally arrowed it. I can't describe how how well he struck that because it was just such a good shot. Leaving the, the floor and just literally rising all the way into the top corner. It's just such a gorgeous goal to watch. And I went mental when that went in when I was in the Skype call. And uh, I... I kind of caught a few people off guard when I when I burst into a celebration. But as you can see, we've got an offer in for Michael Woods. We are now into the January transfer window. So I'm asking the board for some extra funds. We asked earlier on and they weren't necessarily too keen on giving us those extra funds. So we'll have to see and uh, wait and see what they say this time around. So we'll have a transfer targets video in the next episode. So this one is slightly uh, slightly shorter, unfortunately. But uh, of course, we'll be back to, uh, to transfer action in the next one. We are currently second in the table, though. So still maintaining maintaining our position in the top two automatic places which is the minimum we want this year but uh, we may have to settle for a playoff spot we're not sure well if we can sell on a couple of players in this window and bring in some replacements to strengthen this squad we might be able to challenge for the title but QPR are very strong this year and are proving to be the pace setters right now although we are only a point behind them so we'll have to wait and see we're over halfway through the season now already so fingers crossed we can have as good a second half of the season as we have the first half but that is going to bring today's episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already i'm not sure if i'm streaming tonight or not i have a lot of recording to do and i will be uh, confirming either way over on twitter so follow me on twitter in the links in the description and follow the twitch channel on the link in the description as well and you'll know exactly what's going on with regards to that but that is going to bring today's video to a close thank you very much for watching and i will see you tomorrow